Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I don't receive any dreams, visions, or messages this week, so I will only share a short teaching related to rapture and end times. Brothers and sisters in Christ, there are two things I need to address related to the message of rapture or end times and repentance. The first is... As I shared on my community post, there are a certain groups among us or believers who will mock and scoff the message about rapture and end times. I saw it clearly from the comments that I received from my last video. Some said it's been said since 2000 years ago and we are still here. Others said Jesus' return was not soon 7 years ago and is not soon now. Pre-tribulation rapture is false hope and so on. When I saw these comments, it made me sure that we are truly in the last days because these people's words are fulfilling what is written in the Bible. <clears throat> Let us read from 2 Peter 3 verses 3 to 4. Above all, you must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is this coming, he promised. Ever since our ancestors died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. Brothers and sisters in Christ, about the timing of the rapture, it is clearly written in the Bible that no one knows the day and the hour. We cannot think that rapture is still far away like 10 or 20 years from now, because if Jesus comes today, the next minute, then we will be found not ready. Also, we cannot think that Jesus will come in near time like 1 or 2 years from now, <clears throat> and then we set a date or time for us to wait, and if Jesus doesn't come at the time that we set, we become disappointed and no longer believe that Jesus will come. Brothers and sisters in Christ, if we are waiting in these ways, we will not be ready when Jesus comes. We must follow what Jesus and the apostles instructed us. Jesus said, keep watching and keep praying. Be ready at any moment. Let us read from Luke chapter 21 verses 34 to 36. Be careful or your hearts will be weighed down with kerosene, drunkenness and the anxieties of life, and that they will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on all those who live on the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen, and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Brothers and sisters, if seven years ago I said the coming of Jesus is soon, today I will keep saying it is soon, and I will always say that Jesus will come soon and sooner than we think. It is the way we wait, so it is not just some period of years waiting and then we go back to the world. I had many dreams and visions regarding rapture and judgment from the Lord. And then the second thing I want to address is the ignorance of the body of Christ regarding how they prepare for the coming of Jesus. Many believers are happy when I said rapture is soon and we will fly soon. But when I said we need to repent and be holy, it seems these words fall to the deaf ears. Not only that, some even said they don't need to repent. I also saw a destructive teaching said we are already born again and rapture ready, and repentance is not needed to be saved. By saying this, they don't feel need to repent and follow the instructions from Jesus and the apostles regarding end times. Brothers and sisters in Christ, preaching about the end times is not only proclaiming that Jesus will come soon, but we need to tell people to repent from sins and get right with God. Many people, especially from hypergrace teaching, only take the promises that Jesus will give to his bride, but they cut and throw away the instructions from Jesus for us to repent, live holy, and prepare ourselves to be the spotless bride of Christ. They even said that they already holy, sanctified, and no need to do anything to prepare. They don't feel need to repent from sins or get right with God. This is the big ignorance and rebellious acts that I see in the body of Christ nowadays, and this reminds me about a story in the Bible. Let us read from Numbers chapter 16 verses 1 to 3. Korah son of Ezer, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and certain Reubenites, Dathan and Abiram, sons of Eliab, and On son of Peleth, become insolent and rose up against Moses. With them were 250 Israelite men, well-known community leaders who had been appointed members of the council. They came as a group to oppose Moses and Aaron and said to them, You have gone too far. The whole community is holy, every one of them, and the Lord is with them. Why then you set yourselves above the Lord's assembly? So this group of people said to Moses that they already holy and the Lord is with them. But look what happened to them at the end. Let us read again from verses 28 to 34. Then Moses said, 
this is how you will know that the Lord has sent me to do all these things, and that is was not my idea. If this man die a natural death and suffer the fate of all mankind, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord brings about something totally new, and the earth opens it, its mouth and swallows them with everything that belongs to them, and they go down alive into the realm of the dead, then you will know that this man have treated the Lord with contempt. As soon as he finished saying all this, the ground under them split apart, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them, and their households, and all those associated with Korah, together with their possessions. They went down alive into the realm of the dead, with everything they owned, the earth closed over them, and they perished and were gone from the community. At their cries, all the Israelites around them fled, shouting, The earth is going to swallow us too. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, don't just follow what people said. They told you to rebel against God and lead you astray, and you just follow without studying the word of God. We must follow the word from Jesus and the apostles. Here are the instructions from the apostle Peter regarding the day of the Lord. Let us read from 2 Peter 3, verses 10 to 14. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives, as you look forward to the day of, the, of God and speed its coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire, and the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with His promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with Him. That's all I'd like to share, brothers and sisters. I hope this message can help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.